so welcome back to our YouTube um, channel. I'm here at the 2018 Mac Show in the United States in Pittsburgh. It's one of the longest running and biggest um, military shows in the world. Um, time sponsored by Han Hart is 10 to 8 in the morning. The lighting in this hotel is really poor, um, but I'm here just um, getting ready to go into the show, see what we can find. We will report back later with some of today's purchases to uh, give you an insight of what you're going to see coming onto the website soon. Okay, so day one of the show is over. I'm pretty tired, being quite successful. Um, trying to video this on my own uh, with no selfie stick, so it's quite difficult. So I'm just gonna run through some of the things that I've bought at the show today. As you can see, um, big pile of stuff on the bed. Um, this is a lovely um, 7th Crassier uh, Imperial German tunic. Very nice condition. This was a really nice piece. and. Um, you seem to be finding a lot of Australian stuff at the moment. It's uh, Australian World War II, 1942 dated slouch hat, um, Australian Royal Artillery, um, used in um, New Guinea. Really, really um, a rare piece. This was a very, very nice photograph album. I'll briefly show you, um, I mean, I'll show you some of the pictures in detail in the video, but um, a very nice Gallipoli album, lots of Australian, um, images in there, very, very rare. They always sell well. This is a lovely um, Africa core cap, first pattern by the maker Weisbach. Um, as, uh, as most people know, in, um, with Weisbach, the insignia is always quite unique. The, the, the eagle is always zigzag machine stitched and the roundel is straight um, stitched. Um, as you can see there, the difference in the type of stitching on the cap. It's had its um, artillery soutache removed. You can just see the remains of the red soutache um, on the cap where it was removed. Here's a, a political leader's gorget, a First World War German uh, trench knife. A couple of paratrooper helmets, a standard single decal German paratrooper helmet. This was a nice uh, uh, Forsham Jaeger Regiment 6 camouflage paratrooper helmet. Here we see a um, US Marine Corps helmet with cover, um, a mint condition uh, Luger holster, uh, selection of Imperial German helmet covers, enlisted mans and officers. Then um, also on the window still here in the light some nice smaller pieces, a couple of uh, Waffen SS enlisted mans or NCOs belt buckles, a mint condition German cross in silver, uh, e-boat badge, Forsham Jaeger paratroopers badge, and a set of um, German um, generals insignia, collar patches and shoulder boards. So a very successful day and uh, bring on more tomorrow. End of day two and um, 
it's 10 30 at night we've um, just got back from ohio we had a tip off about a collection of pickle halves there was an amazing collection there when we got there um, as you can see the vultures are circling helmet vites are there um, so we've got to get these up to the room get them safe and um, unpack them and, and have a closer look so we've got all the stuff up to the room i've unpacked it all as you can see there's about 60 pickle halves all of them are really really nice condition there's loads of officers ones there's guard ones um, if you have a closer look you can see like a mecklenburg strylitz one there nice um, lovely condition look at the the gilding on, on the on the eagles there and the enamel badge it's a Wurttemberg. really really nice there's a guard decor here this is a really really good deal look at this lovely Hessa plume waterloo scrolls lovely lovely pieces and nice Pans officers cap so there was World War II stuff there as well as First World War and there's a nice Africa core tunic Panzer one really really nice original shoulder boards untouched Panzer skulls on the lapels yeah we're gonna have some fun with this so um, last day of the Mac show outside the convention center as I said in some of my um, previous videos I also publish books um, I have a company called military mode publishing and the latest book we're working on is Forschenjäger insignia with um, the author of the book is the the Forschenjäger collector Willy Zahn from America has been collecting for a long long time very well known in the business and um, we're just photographing the last few bits of his collection which is the uh, Forschenjäger uh, cuff titles so that book should be out um, very, very early in um, 2019, hopefully. Um, we'll keep you updated on the progress of that. You'll be able to buy it on Regimentals website, uh, www.regimentals.co.uk. So uh, last day of the show today, it's now half past 11 at night. Um, just completed um, a six hour drive from Phil uh, Pittsburgh to Philadelphia. And um, it's uh, times like now where you realize that how big America is, you know, six hours driving just partially across one state. Um, we're back in Philadelphia and um, very tired, haven't had any dinner. Um, uh, also, like times like now, you re you realise that um, how hard the job is. You know, I haven't seen my family for a whole week, and um, you know, a lot of expense and, and effort goes into finding this kind of stuff. Um, sometimes it's disheartening when you you hear people in the in the collecting community um, moaning about some of the prices that we ask um, for stuff. But you know, we, it's not easy to find good stuff. You've really got to put in a lot of effort. Um, so as you can see behind me, my uh, head of security is unloading um, all of our uh, merchandise. And um, today at the show, um, I bought one really, really good thing. Um, um, I'll show it to you in the morning. Um, uh, it's too late, too dark now. So um, in the morning, I'll show you what this uh, amazing piece is. Good morning and welcome to the final part of the um, video. Very tired this morning but a good night's sleep and as promised I wanted to show you this one piece that I bought at the show yesterday. It was probably the nicest thing that I think I bought. Um, and here it is, it. I'll show it to you. Okay, so for those of you who might not know what it is, it's a um, it's what's called a um, palm leaf smock. It's the oversmock that the Waffen SS wore 
um, over their tunics. Um, uh, camouflage, SS camouflage is very, very popular amongst collectors. And um, as you can see, I'll show you in closer detail in pictures, but you can see the, the palm, palm leaf pattern on the smock. This is the, um, the 1938 model. So the first issue one would, was called Poly Spot. It was a certain type of camouflage. And the second issue uh, type was, was the palm pattern. Um, and there's two models, the 1938 and the 1940. The 1938 pattern is the more pop, is the, the harder to find one. It has the elasticated collar and a small flap behind the lace, uh, the, the lace up top there. Um, this one is lovely condition. There's a slight bit of uh, damage or repair on the on, on, on my back of one sleeve. Very, very nice condition. They are extremely rare. Uh, the, these ones, the reason the uh, the palm pattern is, is quite rare is because they were used um, they were used in France, uh, Poland uh, in the early part of the war, and then most of them were were sent to Russia, and therefore, obviously, not very many survived. Um, they were used later on in the war. You do see photographs of them being used in Normandy as well, but most of these were destroyed on the Russian front. And, um, you know, th this is a, a really, really super rare thing. Also, just for those of you that would know, they're, they're reversible. So, so you turn it inside out. So on this side, it has the green, the green pattern. You turn it inside out and you can see the, the autumn type reddish pattern there. It has the original, the original uh, lace on the collar as well. A really, really super thing. Probably the prize, prize piece of the show for me. So that'll be it now. Um, next video will be back in the UK. Um, not sure when that will be, hopefully next week. And um, we'll be updating our website very, very soon. So um, check out um, the, the new update on www.regimentals.co.uk.